Hey everybody, it's Faith and Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too many. Anyway, so I'm doing December round two a little bit different just because of time constraints. And I'm not going to have time to do all 12 signs this week. So we're going by the elements, okay? Alrighty, I just did Earth, so now we are on air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. December 2021. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. We're just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can't be vice versa. You might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Energy or friends, cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate you stopping by. Say hello. You're amazing. If you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. I have opened comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll keep them open. And I would just like to say much appreciated to... Um, anyone who may have reported someone who made a nasty comment that I didn't get a chance to see. Thank you so much for your due diligence. It, I, I do. From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it. By the book. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Out of the moonology. By the book. Out of the wisdom oracle. Okay. All right, air signs. Heavenly Father, Mother, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Dark Angels, I ask for any messages you have for my air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, December 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. I ask that you help me use it to bring my air sign friends to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Two of coins. What? Excuse me, I have to feed the old man. One second. So sorry, he has a tendency to a little bit be a little bit of a prince every once in a while. Alright, two of coins. Could be balance, juggling, weighing options. I don't know. What's your strengths? One card for air sign strength. Eight of Cups. Feels like you know when to walk away. What's your weakness? Three of Wands reversed. Don't wait around very long, do you? All right, what do you want? I didn't tip down. I gotta start doing this live so people can remind me to tip the camera down. All right. Whoa. What do you want? Looks like happiness. I need a clarifier on that Queen of Wands reverse. What's got to go? What's got to go? What's got to go? Full reversed. Lack of trust. Lack of faith. What's coming in? King Queen's reversed. Mm, that's self-defeating thoughts to the max, yo. What's up with that? All right. What do you got to do? What do you got to do? What do you got to do? Eight of Coins reversed. What's the outcome? You mean outcome? Six of Coins. Ten of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. Feels like somebody's got to get something off the chest, maybe. Got a monkey on your back. Got to release a burden. I don't know. Give me one of those two of coins. Two of coins. Star and the King of Wands reversed.
Do I hang in there or do I walk away? All right. Eight of Cups. King of Pentacles reversed again. If you walk away, you might not see it come to fruition. I don't know. King of Swords upright. You know when to be logical. You know when to throw in the towel. You know when to let go. You know when it's not a wise investment. You know when to walk away. What's the Three of Wands reversed for the weakness? Fortune reversed. You don't see things through to the end. Sometimes you leave things unfinished, don't you? Empress reversed. You don't let, you don't give things time. Okay. Okay. Well. What do you want? Talk to me about this Queen of Wands reversed. Stability in and of yourself. One more. Um, you want to be in charge. Wow, okay. Why the sun? Why the sun? Cherry, you want it on your terms. You want it on your terms. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Buy the book. All right, why the fool reversed for what's got to go? Ace of Wands. Jumping into things without thinking. Mm. Okay. This sounds like a habit. Are we getting habits this month? Mm. Are we getting habits this time around, guys? Why the King of Coins reversed for what's coming in? Queen of Cups. Don't be so hard on yourself. You gotta love yourself. The fool. You gotta trust yourself. Wow. This just got all kinds of weird. So you wanna be in charge, you wanna do it your way. You want victory, you wanna win. But you want it on your terms. I feel like some of you jump the gun before you have all the information. Whether it's going into a situation or leaving a situation. Why the eight of coins reversed for what you got to do? Queen of wands in the upright. Of sort make wiser choices. Be it with investments or you know monetary investments, investments of time, time and energy. Just make wiser decisions. That's what you got to do. All right. What's the outcome here? 
I'm not feeling like this was a love reading. I'm feeling like this was a... Hermit. Page of Pentacles reversed. Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Back to the drawing board, maybe? Take a step back. Watch, look, observe. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The hermit is the great observer. He's the great observer of oneself. I think whatever you're going through, whatever experience... This is a learning experience. This has Hierophant written all over it without the card being involved. You just step back and observe your own habits, it feels like. All right. We're going to read from the Moonology, and we're going to read from the Wisdom Oracle, and I think I'm going to call it a night. I'm pretty tired. Don't let your path hold you back, south node. Don't let your past hold you back. Trouble reading today. South node. The south node, like the north node, is a karmic point, but its opposites to the north node, but its opposite to the north node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that old age programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that you even needs to be released, that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing is for sure. When you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes. Even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. Huh. All right. Number 11 by the book. Number 11. One plus one is two. First card out was the two of pentacles. Two twos, two of pentacles, two of swords. All right. Nothing but the synchronicities. I'm just going to read. Do, 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 do. Abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural and family customs, universal laws. The universe works within a, within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides a framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few of the, that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings, in turn, have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior, reflecting an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is a time to learn these laws and conform to them, rather than being a rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules, even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance, for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to the universal laws, and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. Air sign friends, loves, thanks for coming by. I will catch you guys next month. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. 
And if I don't get January, January readings up by New Year's, have a safe, happy, healthy, and wonderful New Year. Peace, love, and light.